everything you've come to expect here in this part of the country, the Pacific Northwest, some damp conditions, a hint of sunshine peeking through the clouds, and some of the most passionate fans in all of Major League Soccer. Sounder is only making that one change due to the injury of Hurtado, plugging Iani into that back line that's been so solid. Alonzo again, number six, the engine of this team in Montero, been very hot lately, especially with that strike partnership with Levesque. That back four has been changing all around. Or slides back over to the left as Marshall comes into the center. Mascherini back into the middle of the park, which should make a big difference. And Casey and Cummings, finally, they get that strike pair up top. And speed of Cummings up top. But those long balls they hit over top, they're going to check up a little bit. That's a very dangerous weapon to have. And when you have Marvell win out there, that's not as much dangerous on the other side. Top of the area. Wells Thompson, and it's already 1-0. Ball get curled in here. And it looks like right when it gets cleared out, just gets misplayed. And a great finish from Thompson. Good first touch, low, hard, far post. Casey Keller not able to get on that one, but... Montero able to turn on the ball. Excellent ball into the space. Eric Freeburg with the chance. Levesque to follow up. Pickens with the save. Bodies flying everywhere as even our referee Edvin Urasevich went down. This is trouble. And here comes Cummings back the other way. Speedy as ever, trying to switch the point of attack to find Connor Casey on the back post. Colorado Rapids here, beautiful through ball, perfectly paced, but look at Marvell wins pace to catch up here. Gets the shoulder on Freeberg as he comes through the middle. Levesque trying to follow up, good save here from Pickens. Again, the through ball, this time intended for Alvaro Fernandez, gets inside the area, we're Well, again, a great diagonal through ball, and look at Fernandez, the skill, the strength to stay up. Beautiful finish, far post. That is just class. Good ball in from Alonzo, but look at this. Cuts it back, but look at the strength. Keeps himself up, takes a look, gets in that far post, puts it in the side netting, and the Seattle Sounders with an unbelievable response to going down early. involved in a tangle up moments ago that resulted in a yellow and this time he's involved in an exchange with Eric Freeberg the 25 year old Swede who's still down on the turf. Freeberg if Pablo Mastrani got a yellow card for the earlier one Freeberg's got to get one for this and Pablo's mad because he thinks that after this foul takes place watch Freeberg's right foot thinks he tries to stop a little bit Mastrani gives up gets up gives a little bit of an elbow which is very silly from Pablo an experienced player and not much of a stop there. I think Pablo's just a little upset he got fouled. Oh. Non-contact injury right there as Connor Casey went down. Almost looked like his foot slid out from underneath him. Marshall deflects it back in for Pickens. Is it a knee or an ankle? Well, anytime you see this, it's hard to tell. Looks like it might have been his knee as he went immediately to grab that area. But anytime you see a player go down with no contact like right. that, especially Connor Casey, a player that's had tons of injuries in his career. Staff looks over to the bench and signals that there will indeed need to be a change for Connor Casey. What a blow for the Colorado Rapids, but also personally for Connor Casey. He's up and over the top. Wells Thompson scored the game's first goal. Back out top. Lorentowitz looking for the corner. It's 2-1. Riley's right there as the double team comes. Puts it right there for Lorentowitz. But look at that left-footed shot. His weaker foot curls that one in first time. This is such a difficult strike as he's coming across to hit this far post. Catches all of it off of the post into the other side netting. Nothing Keller can do about it but a great setup from Thompson. Rosales brings this one down in front of Drew Moore. Near post, the back under the back post. 2-2. We've got another phenomenal ball from Alonzo out of the midfield. Rosales sets it up. Beautiful curling ball near post. But look at this finish from Levesque.
absolutely fantastic. All he does is get the slightest of touch with the outside of his left foot and gets that in. The only spot. Ball on foot, equal possession there for the Rapids. Here comes Alonzo. There you see what I was talking about earlier. Nine goals in the last 15 minutes of game this season for the Sounders. Chance in front. Evans onto the back post. It's loose. It's in! Well, it all starts with, look at how high this line is. Why would you be that high? Look at it, it's just a sprinting contest at that point. Beautiful slipped-in ball here. And Evans does a great job of following this up. Lorentos with a poor touch. Get a lucky deflection, but Montero right there. Diving header. Puts it in, and the DP, Montero, has been huge for them lately, and that's what they need. Seattle maybe not done yet. In behind for Rosales. Again, a high line with no pressure on the ball. It's going to burn you every time. A little lucky deflection comes through. Rosales does a great job of finishing it off once the ball's there for him. Beautiful run to get on the end of it. But I guess uh, going back to my point about Montero, like any good goal scorer, they find the right moments to show up. Back post. What a save by Keller. The Tholon gets one back. Keller's furious. Makes a great first save here. Ball comes in. First header. Look at this save from Keller. Bowen following up. Gets in behind his defender, which must be what's... Trying to slow up the Sounders' attack. Jaquil looking in onto the back post. And that one appeared to be deflected out. But as you look down at Edwin Yurisevich, his whistle brings it to a close. What an afternoon, and it's a 4-3 win for the Sounders, their 10th victory of the campaign.